Lucy and go ahead. Um, this is February 3rd, 2013, and I was in this helicopter, and this is our pilot. And like the I the best part about this was the tickling, and we got to see the house that we were staying in. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And we saw the Sea Life Park from a different interview I did. I'm in the shark tank. You did? Is yeah. that scary? Nope. Oh, we were in a cage. I don't like cages. No, we were in a cage underwater. Would you like it if all the sharks were in the cage? Because then they... No, get... you're right. Yeah. They, they, would, they would have a harder time. All right. So what other questions do you have for me? Um, how is it like for you? For me, um, I love it because I think the one thing that made me want to fly when I was 11 was this helicopter landed at my school and I was like so surprised. I did not know that helicopters look like that and that they could fly and I didn't know how they fly because it just doesn't look right, right? I mean, it just doesn't I look know. right. I know. It, it has some... It, the, prop the propeller yeah, spins so fast. Rotors, yeah. Yep, and then it spins the back ones yeah. so you can control if you're going up or down. That one controls, you know, like when I was over there and I was kind of turning it side to side. Oh, I that's... do it with the pedals down there. You can see those. Oh. They control the tail there, and that's what turns it. Mm. If I want to go this way, I kind of press on this leg, and it turns us this way, and then the other way. And if we didn't have that, then you just to show the whole island, mm -hmm. we'd you'd have to like go from a completely different angle. With, right. some, with somebody pushing you all, all the time. It wouldn't even work. It would take forever, right? Yeah, so or, you have a, or you have a ton of weights in the yeah. middle and you move them over to the side to just to turn. Very imaginative. You're very, yeah, it's, you know, and they've got different types of helicopters, but this one is my favorite. This one's like the smoothest, it's kind of like quiet. Is it called the Milo? No, it's, oh, it's I, a Eurocopter. Oh, I just looked at that. <laughs> oh, this is my hello. It means thank you. Oh. So, yeah, we usually just put that on there to just, you know, thank everyone for flying with us. And as you can see, all these instruments we have to be watching as we're flying, right? It Gotta depends on which watching. instrument you come to me. When I was like six around there, when they said instruments, like, Did and, and yeah. Scooby-Doo and Batman, um, I thought there was like instruments. <laughs> they call a lot of things instruments, so these look very complicated, but if you know what you're looking at, it's pretty easy. Yeah. It's pretty easy. And every instrument runs on echo, a point, a vibration. It depends. Some of them do, some of them All air them. pressure. All of them. Some of them air pressure, some of them feel what the helicopter is doing and they, they Oh, follow. I'm talking about instrument instruments. Oh, oh, you're not talking about the no, I'm talking about musical instruments. Oh. They all run on vibration. <laughs> yeah, I never thought of it that way. They do, don't they? Mm -hmm. How this long did it take you to get your pilot's license? What did you have to about, do? Um, a year and a half. Oh, and you just start, what I thought. Yeah, well, you start from your private license, then you go to your commercial license, and then you can start working towards getting a job. Because they don't want you to, like, you know, it's like telling someone in kindergarten to start flying. You can't just give them a job immediately, right? Yeah. you got to test them, you then, gotta like, train then them. when you do it, if you're just a kindergartner first trying out and they say you're perfect for it, you start flying and then you crash and everyone on the aircraft uh -oh. is very serious. We don't even go there. So you've got to make sure you know everything there is to know. You work hard. You study, study, study. Because you gotta take care of everyone on board. It's on our responsibility to make sure you guys have a really awesome time. So we train and train and train and train and train, then practice and practice, and then you can get a good job. Okay, oh, and don't you go like to a school for a helicopter license? And you don't ride a real helicopter, but something like a helicopter that can help you start out? It's a small helicopter. It's like if you were sitting like right here and I'm here, this is how small it is. It's like this big. It's like a little bubble helicopter. Oh, that. With uh, two seats. Yep. And that's what I saw. That's what I saw. Yeah. Movement. It's tiny. And that's what you use for training and then you get good at it and then you go up to other helicopters like this. Yep. And I thought that you go so.
somewhere between deep and shallow water. So mm -hmm. if the plane crashes, the people won't drown and the aircraft won't sink to the bottom or get destroyed. Well, what is cool about this helicopter and why I love it is because it has something called floats. And floats, actually, if I press this button and press a button right here, these floats will actually puff out. Yep, right and then the you can skills. fall on the water. And then I am a floating helicopter. I can land right on the water. So this is a safe, safe helicopter because not all of them get that. The one you see up ahead of us doesn't have that. And so they actually add this for safety. And that's where we fly. I mean, I'll fly a little bit off the water, but the helicopter also glides. It actually glides. If anything goes wrong, that's why even if you're a little bit off, you can just glide onto the back. And you can land. It's called auto rotation. Nick Roberts reporting. Good job. Good interview, Nick. Thank See you. See you next time. Bye. Bye, Maggie. Shut up.